Um, I also want to ask you before you go about this case involving Bill Cosby, because there are now nine women suing him in the state of Nevada. They're accusing him of sexual assault. Cosby has denied any wrongdoing in the allegations against him. His spokesperson says the women suing are being motivated by media attention and greed. What can you tell us about this and also the Nevada law that's essentially allowing them yeah. to come forward? So this uh, Bill Cosby case has really been a seminal case for a number of different things. And one of those is challenging the idea about statutes of limitations in sexual assault cases. Traditionally, the only crime, not civil case, but the only crime that uh, has no statute of limitations is murder. And the idea being that if you kill someone, you should look over your shoulder for the rest of mm. your days because uh, the wicked man fleeth when none pursue, I think is the saying. Wow. So you have to you have to like always that. wonder uh, as a as a murderer if you're going to be charged. But in the mm -hmm. last uh, decade or so, the trend has been to expand that not just in sexual assault criminal cases, but sexual assault civil cases. Mm -hmm. And most recently in New York, uh, they did exactly that. And I have some yeah. of these cases, these Child Victims Act cases. And here's the wow. challenge. Uh, yes, it is a good idea to open up these windows. But once you file your lawsuit, you have a new fresh challenge, which is finding evidence, finding witnesses. It's right. the reason statute of limitations exist, is that evidence fades, witnesses die, the, the information disappears. And at a, some point, it becomes really, really difficult to bring these cases, even if you're allowed to bring them. Wicked man fleeth if none pursue, that's the quote? Yeah, I can't tell you where it's from. It could have been from, it could have been from anything. I don't know. All right. You always learn something when you're here. You're going to have to Google that. Certainly do. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.